Here's the truth. You don't need to be a crazy programmer anymore to build profitable and successful apps. 2025 has just started and I am going to show you the exact blueprint that helped me earn over $7,000 in revenue in the last three months. I'm Robin and I spent the last seven years building a dozen projects and startups, all of which failed. But only in the last three months, I managed to earn over $7,000 revenue with my React Native starter kit called Native Express. I am now on the verge of building my next SaaS and bootstrapping it to 1 million ARR. And I am going to use this exact blueprint. Everything starts with the right foundation. A common misconception is that the tech stack matters, but it really doesn't. The customer doesn't care about the invisible, but you should care. You should choose whatever is the simplest, the most convenient, and the one you are most comfortable with. So I recommend using Next.js, which is a full stack framework using React for the front end and serverless functions as a backend. It can be easily deployed. Um, I recommend using it with Tailwind uh, CSS and TRPC and maybe a component library like ChatCN and Magic UI. This is the most simplest and straightforward way I found and that I used to build apps. And to even simplify life, because that way you don't have to manage multiple services like a backend service, a frontend service, set up pipelines, different code spaces and projects. This is the most simplest way, an all-in-one solution that's that gets the job done. Even more so, you can find tons of boilerplates for free or paid and landing page templates and components that you can use to just have building blocks that you can put together and get started right away and don't waste time on designing components and building stuff from scratch. In the description, you can find the link to a repository of my free and open source starter kit for Next.js and Tailwind, which includes a full-on SaaS landing page and analytics and everything you need. Feel free to check it out, it's 100% free, and I build it to help you get started quickly, so there's no excuse for you earning your first money in 2025. You can find many more that are free if you just Google Next.js boilerplate, and there are also a lot of which which are paid. I personally use Superstarter, I tried I tried Chipfast by Mark Lu, I wasn't really happy with it, I cannot recommend it. But then I switched to Superstarter, which I use now for all of my projects. It's a bit more complex, but it's perfect for my needs and use cases, as well as uh, it has a great support. The founder always helps me and implements features. Also, this proves my point with the success that I have with my React Native Starter Kit, Native Express. A lot of people have bought it to build their mobile apps really quickly. I use it as well for all the mobile apps I'm going to build. Uh, you can build a mobile app in just three days instead of three months. So yeah, also a link in the description below. Key point is don't waste time on boilerplate code or unnecessary things. Try to build as fast as possible. Your competition is using boilerplates and templates, so why wouldn't you? Next thing, use AI as your co-pilot. Once you have a solid foundation with a solid and clean code base and project, you can then leverage AI to develop even faster. I personally use Cursor for all everything I do. Um, there you can define a cursor rules file, which is basically a big prompt describing the project and your needs. So the AI understands how your project is set up and how it should implement things. And I can 100% recommend it. You are way, way, way faster using it. In my free boilerplate as well as the Native Express, I have one pre-configured for you. So you can just go to cursor, prompt what feature you need and how it should look like, or maybe what changes you want and it will understand the code base because it's familiar with it. And you can just with one prompt and one click of a button, implement complete features in just a minute or two. That's exactly how I do it. And it worked super well for me. Of course, AI is only as good as you are. So use it carefully, write your prompt specific, have a good cursor roots file, um, double check the code, understand what's going on and use it as a tool, not as a magic pill, but it will help you get to your goal as fast as possible. And hopefully you will earn your money without wasting months or even years building something. So leverage AI to accelerate your workflow and coding process and give AI the structure and prompts it needs to be as effective as possible. Next up, you need to track everything. Data is the most important thing. If you talk to investors, they ask about your data. If you want to know how your, how your company is growing, you need to look into the data. If you wonder why your landing page isn't converting, watch, uh, see what the data is saying. Analytics from day one is super important. You need to know what happens on your website and your product. Why do customers churn? 
why, what is it that customers confuse? Maybe is there something not working? How many customers in traffic do you have? How many are buying? What's the conversion rate? So how many visits, visitors do you have? And how many of them convert to buying or using your product? And these are essential for growth. Even later on, it will become more and more important. I recommend setting up analytics from day one and checking it from day one so you can improve your product and make your first money or even make more money than you already do. So I personally use and love Postdoc. It's an open source analytics tool, which is an all-in-one solution. Um, it has web analytics built in. It has product analytics so you can track events. Um, it has tools for A-B testing so you can test certain features. It has session replay and heat maps so you can see how you can see like a video recording of how people use your app and navigate through your app on the landing page where they get maybe get confused and maybe where they leave. So you can improve your website and conversion and your product all in all and way more fun things. It's pretty cheap or if you don't want to spend the money, you can just look into the docs and set up set it up on your own custom server because it's open source. So key points, measure what's already working good and measure what isn't and improve based on the data. Be data driven. Also. Build your community from day one. Your customers are the most important thing. Feedback is the most important thing. You need to be best friends with your customers. You need to understand what they want, what they need, um, what they dislike, and listen to the feedback and iterate on the feedback. Because this is the key point driving you to product market fit. I personally recommend using Discord or Slack, setting up a community from day one, a channel where you can invite your customers and be in close contact with them. So I have personally one Discord for Native Express. I'm going to build a new Discord server for my upcoming SaaS called Postal. And I'm going to encourage my customers joining on the Discord with like where I can support them more closely. Um, I can ask them things and be in close contact, see what's going on, what they are missing, what they are happy with, maybe get testimonials and feedback from day one. So you should always remember community drives product market fit. Last but not least, maybe the most important thing that is most slept on as well, you need to start distributing and marketing your app from day one. A lot of people forget about it and maybe think they need to first build their app and then start marketing and distributing it. But you should start same day, maybe even before you st even start writing your first line of code. How I did it with Native Express, I even started distributing marketing before I even wrote my first line of code. I haven't had anything. I was just trying to see if people would be interested in a mobile app boilerplate and if they would consider buying it from me. And once I saw like two or three people commenting under my posts that they would be interested in that, then I started building it. And when I started building it, I built it in public. There are communities on X, you can even do it on LinkedIn, maybe even on YouTube. It's about documenting your journey from day one on how you, how you are building this thing. If you have struggles, um, you post about the struggles. If you have implemented a new tiny feature, you, you post about that. If you have anything, it's just about documenting the journey from day one and uh, see how fast it will get your customers. For me, surprisingly, I got my first pre-orders from that without even planning to do pre-orders and, and early access. Customers just wrote me, DM'd me on X after seeing my uh, posts and asked me about if they could get early access and already buy and when it's and when it's ready and that helped me a lot um, the platform doesn't really matter i personally prefer x with the building public communities over there but you can do it on linkedin on youtube or whatever um, you are most comfortable with only thing important is start from day one and do it consistently a great product with zero distribution zero marketing is worth zero it's worthless and if you struggle with content creation Heads up, I am building my new SaaS, which I'm going to bootstrap to 1 million. It's called Postal because I struggled with creating content for all these different platforms like X, LinkedIn, YouTube, um, blog posts and newsletter posts. So I built one AI supported workflow, which allows me to generate content for all these platforms and reuse content across these platforms uh, within a couple of clicks. It only takes me two minutes and um, the waiting list is open right now. For all the clients that we use the tool on uh, to write Reddit posts and do Reddit marketing, they all got like extremely viral posts, over 100K views and 100% upload rate. So definitely worth checking it out. So guys, there you have it. That's everything you need to build your first successful and profitable app in 2025. I hope you check out everything listed below, especially the free boilerplate, which I just built for this video here. 
Um, it's open source. It's completely 100% free. You can check it out below. It's on GitHub, the source code. You can clone it and have a pre-built landing page, authentication, database, everything set up. So you can just focus on building the features. If you consider uh, building a mobile app, check out my Native Express boilerplate. If you have any questions, hit me up on X or comment down below. And don't waste any more time. Don't fool around. Make money and build your apps. Thank you.